Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video, I'm going to take a look at Odd Hunter or Face Hunter. This is a budget version of the deck, but this is really quite cheap deck anyway. There's not much of a difference between a budget version and a full cost version. The key card of course being the Baku, the Moon Eater, which already costs 1600 dust of the total 248 that this deck costs. So this particular build is only 880 dust on top of Baku, making this the cheapest Baku deck there is. But on the other hand, you would probably rather play Odd Paladin or Odd Rogue, even as a budget version, because they tend to be more stable and have a better matchup spread overall than Face Hunter. So why would you want to play Face Hunter anyway? You can already build a fairly effective Hunter deck for less than a thousand dust, but it has a bit of different matchups than Face Hunter. Face Hunter is very good at punishing greedy decks. This is a pure face deck. This was once upon a time very despised archetype in Hearthstone, but this archetype has not really existed in Hearthstone for a long time. And the closest in current real meta decks is Odd Rogue, which is a very aggressive deck, but this is even more aggressive than that. And Baku the Moonier gives Hunter a hero power that deals 3 damage per swing, so this deck is just wants to hit face. You trade very, very little with this deck. Whenever there is a chance to trade, you really have to evaluate okay. If I do this trade, will that allow me to push more damage? in the overall span of this game or not. And whenever the answer is no, then no, you should not do the trade. Even though it is a phase deck, it's not trivial to play. I don't really believe in trivial decks that much. Because the most trivial decks are those that want to play on a curve, so you play one drop on one, two drop on two, and so forth. But there are a few tips and tricks that I can share about how to play a real phase deck. First of all, you don't always want to use your hero power. In fact, if I can choose my favorite optimal opener, that would be one drop on one, into two one drops on two, into animal companion on three, and after that I would start weaving into hero powers. Even though you have the enhanced hero power, it is still just 3 damage. That alone is not going to be able to carry the game. You want to get minion pressure out very early. You will lose the board at some point, and it's completely fine. You don't care about the board. The only time when you care about the board is very early in the game, where having those minions and making those minions survive can potentially still push more damage throughout the course of the game than losing those minions and losing that board. So one drops are very, very important. When you mulligan with this deck, you are really looking for those one drops. And especially the minions. Veteran, Mole, Reaver, Firefly, Glacial Shard. And you also want Animal Companion, because Animal Companion can potentially buff your early board, or you can get Huffer and push early damage. It's very important. Pretty much all the rest you can draw during the game. And with this deck especially, you do not keep tracking in the mulligan. Don't do that. The purpose of tracking in this deck is that once you are in mid-game, you're all out of resources, you top deck tracking, that's essentially a choice between three different cards. And that's good. That helps you find just the right type of damage you need to win the game. And also, don't be afraid of using the coin just to win a hero power. That can also be a very powerful thing to do. If you're on the coin, you can use the coin to like get an animal companion down on turn 2, that can be strong. But the coin can also be used when you're starting to run low on cards, you still have the coin. You can do a card and coin hero power to push an additional 3 damage to face. Everything you do is all about optimizing the damage potential so that you get to end the game as quickly as possible. Stuff like kill command, you want to use this with a beast, ideally. But when you do the damage calculation and look at the opponent's health, sometimes it's actually correct to push 3 damage with the kill command if that ends the game faster, instead of trying to wait for a beast in order to push that 5. The big finisher card in this variant is a Clockwork Automaton. This is essentially a turn 7 play. 5 mana for the Automaton, 2 mana for the Hero Power, boom, that's 6 damage to face. And that will also be just about the only replacement if you were to try to improve this deck, then you could replace this Automaton with a Leroy. Leroy would be fine, that can push the 6 damage with 2 less mana. But overall the deck does not need a whole lot of improvements. 
it is what it is. It's a face deck. You go face. So it's one more alternative in your toolbox. For example, if Baku the Moon Eater happens to be your own legendary, then this is another deck that's pretty easy to build around that, so you can play a couple of different play styles. And it's not a terrible deck, to be honest. I played this in Legend this season, and I had around 60% win rate. I'm actually winning more games than I'm losing, even with this deck. And it can be fun at times to play something that's just so purely aggressive. If you enjoy this content, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And now, let's go take a look at Odd Face Hunter in action. <laughs> we meet a druid! <laughs> druid has so much armor. I'm never going to get through all of that. Oh dear. I guess we're not going to win this one. We could have won this with the Megatoon Warlock. I know we could have won this with the Megatoon Warlock. Yeah, just check this out. Alright, shard time. Shard into Coin Animal Companion, I believe. Oh, we are going to be able to deal a point of damage here. That is excellent news. Ooh, and it's always tougher to... We can deal multiple points of damage. <laughs> this is a free loss. Probably. Not always, but probably. If he can't kill both of these, then I can do Accurus Veteran Hero Power next turn. I'm expecting it to be Mecha Toon Druid. Another six. All right, all right. I would like to start weaving in these hero powers, but next turn it will be difficult. All right, all right. Down to fifteen. If I can top deck one drop, then we're going to one drop. It's Reaver, Arcane Shot Hero Power. Alright, alright. We're trying, we're trying. Hi, Return. Thanks. Yeah, I looked, I looked a lot into the decks. But that's another 12 armor. Why did you get another 12 armor? That's so much healing. That is so much healing. 12 healing. Why? Why 12 healing? So it's bow and hero power rather than wolf rider hero power. No, it's wolf rider hero power. And we try to see if this wolf rider can stick on the board or not. Next turn I can do bow hero power because then I have the clockwork automate and hero power. I think this is Mechatoon. Oh, Nourish, this is not Mechatoon. I don't really care about your Arcane Tyrant, but there might be Spreading Plagues. Okay, we get him down to a little bit lower health total. He's at 13. And we're pushing in another 6 here. Put him down to 7. What is it going to be? What is the story of the game? More healing? He needs more healing. No! Not Malfurion! That's insane! No! I can't get through the taunts anymore. Not nine. I can't do it anymore. Battle can a Kamikatoon decks any good for ladder? Yes, they are great. They are absolutely great. I will need to find another kill command at least. Now if he has an ultimate infestation then there's then there's absolutely nothing I can do. Because that would be another five healing right here. Please don't have an ultimate infestation. 
At least that's not an ultimate infestation. But obviously a branching pads for more armor. That Malfurion was so good. For a while I thought I might be able to get this done. Silence Taunt. What good would that do? I failed to see that it would do any good. Because he has two taunts. No, not a ferocious howl. <sighs> he wants me to have kill commands. Why do you want me to have kill commands? Well, now I've found two silences. One more time with the feel, boys. One more time with the feel. Silence taunt. Silence taunt. Hit face. Hero power face. One more time with the feel. No, I don't want to kill command the taunt. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. I can have up to 13. Burst here potentially, right? No, not not I need to track. I probably don't have 13. Please don't find ultimate infestation. Or branching paths or ferocious howl. Or Alex Traza, I suppose. He could just Alex Traza his own face. No, it's the second branching path. No. This is this is painful. It's painful to say the least. It's painful to say the least. Seven, eight, nine, twelve. He sets up lethal. He could have lethal with a swipe. He's at twenty-one. Being immune while attacking doesn't help me. Unleash deals a bit of damage here. But he can kill me with a swipe, so... I guess it's still not going to be enough. Do I need to trade so that I don't die to a swipe? I need to trade so that I'm not dead to a swipe. That's just... I mean, how much armor has he gained in this game? Like 40. He has gained something like 40 armor in this game. That was a ridiculous game of Hearthstone. Reaver is not very strong, but I think I want to one drop. And I assume it's going to be OTK Paladin. And they generally have too much healing for this deck to su succeed, unfortunately. And we we're still giving it a try. We're doing our best here. But it's unlikely that I can succeed. Like we have to arcane shot that. Just develop the reader. Pyro is a little bit too scary. Next turn we probably try with the animal companion. Animal companion time. I still think I want to kill this recruit. He can buff the recruit. How can he buff the recruit? He could have a consecration as well. Recruit can trade here, even if there's no Consecration. What if there's a true silver champion? Recruit trades here. Trading the Recruit is correct. I will have more damage in the long run by doing this, I believe. Then 
Then it's Wolf Rider, Coin Hero Power, because I want to weave in that Hero Power whenever I can. And we push with this. I have Silence for Steed. I have Unleash Kill Command kind of stuff. But this is where the Paladin obviously starts to heal a lot. So if I kill this... I'll just lose out on so much damage. Silencing it is also incorrect right now. He might steed it next turn. Then I will silence it after. Which means that we're hitting face, and we're hitting face, and we're hitting face, and we're hitting face. Hitting face is our current game plan. If he uses Steed on that, then I will just silence the Steed. Timeout is pretty nice, though. Obviously it doesn't deal any damage. So I will do... Unleash here. To trade away both of these minions. He gets a couple of draws, but I didn't want to use the silence because I want the silence for a steed. I need one drops. But Leroy is definitely, definitely a card. Oh no! I mulliganed everything, and I drew only three drops. There are ten one drops in this deck. Oh no! I have to top deck one drop. What are your favorite decks of the moment? Those Mega Doom decks were pretty fun. Very exhausting too. It's not an even warlock, so is it cubes or I greet you. maybe it's Mega Toon? I top deck one drop. Woohoo! One drop! Well, Warlock. He might not dare to tap, but he could play like a Blade Beetle. Shard isn't bad either. This is actually a Mega Doom Warlock, by the way. Oh boy, oh boy. So I could like Shard his Shard and Coin Hero Power. I think I'll do that. But he has Corpse Takers in that deck. That's a problem. I would have to silence... Oh, he has so much healing in that deck, actually. With the Angle Biders and the Corpse Takers and everything. Oh no! Not a Wax Elemental too. Unleash seems good. But I'm not trading away the board, no. I'm just killing the taunt. And I'm pushing two to the dome. He might have defile or something anyway. The silence has to be for the corpse taker. Hopefully he can't find the angle bider. Angle bider would be annoying. He doesn't have a defile. Does he have the angle bider? That's not an angle bider. There is a Ziliax in that deck. Ziliax, Corpse Takers, there's so many things that are potential silence targets. If it Ziliax is this, I will, I will just take it away. It's time to try to hit with the bow. What if he plays the Gladonosus? But what if I need to use the Iron Big Owl next turn? I think it is time to hit with the bow. He might magnetize Ziliax on this. And he gets the 4 healing. But it's still a net positive for me. He was able to top deck the Gladonosus. That was painful. That was definitely not what I wanted to see. Top decking the Gladonosus was more painful than if he would have had it otherwise. Now it's time to drop kill command to the dome. Let's see. That's a code. How is Hearthstone these days? 
I switched to Elder Scrolls Legends. Yeah, I played Tessel. Well, I played them all, so... Yeah, Hearthstone is fine. Lots of combo decks around right now. He lost the Ziliax. Interesting. I can track this turn right. Let's see what I can pick up. Nothing too great. He must not have healing next turn, right? I can push 6 and 6, which probably is not going to be enough. If he has no healing, then doing 6 from here puts him down to 4, then I can finish him off with the Automaton. I think that is correct. Now he needs a spell stone. It's not enough that he gets a Corpse Taker. Ankle Biter is not enough. It has to be a spell stone. Spell stone is the only out. And the big question is does he have it? There is a spell stone. Okay, but now I can also do... No, I still need to do just the automate and hero power. Next turn is the bow. Silence bow. There's no Ziliax. So this is the automate and hero power. Put him down to one. He needs to have another spell stone, right? He can't magnetize anything because Ziliax is gone. Corpse Taker, as such, is not good enough. There is another spell stone, but I can silence away. But silence is not enough because he can kill me. Oh, but I can. I can silence the taunt. This not anymore. I can just silence the taunt. Could have used the top deck card too, but this shows that it wasn't the top deck that killed him. I might try with something like this. Let's see. None will survive. He kept two cards though, so there could be a one drop in to raise them all. Not one drop in to raise them all. Can you play the Diamo? Start from here. Secret A. So it's probably a Wandering Monster. So if I attack with this, the Wandering Monster probably wins that fight. I could also try to coin Eagle Horn Bow. Hit with that. That will kill most Wandering Monsters. I think I need to coin the bow and hit with that. This will kill most wandering monsters. It's not a wandering monster. Okay. That was a surprise. But there could be some taunts coming. This is very, very slow opener so far. I could do the animal companion. But I can also do like Acheros Veteran Hero Power. I don't want to go really wide because this deck has this deck has some tools to fight that. I think this is a curse veteran hero power. There could have obviously been a snipe there, but it wasn't. Okay. Next turn is likely to be a something like Animal Company and Glacial Shard. We'll see some kind of hyena place. <coughs> there is the just about to say that some kind of hyena play is the best thing he can do to get into this game. So now I have to choose. 
Do I want to kill off the hyena? Because I can do that with the eagle horn bow now. Then he will get the snake or the venom strike. Or can I raise the hyena? So if I deal 5, put him down to 13. I don't think I can raise the hyena. I think I have to kill the hyena. And there's either snake or venom strike. Do I want to use a glacial shard here? Or just an emerald reaver? Glacial shard, can I value trade with that? He obviously has the spring paw, the lynx. If he has a second hyena, that can be a big thing. We'll see how much of a board he wants to maintain as well. A second hyena would be a really big thing. But short of a second hyena, because I have the unleash there, if he doesn't have an explosive trap then. This might work out. So far I haven't seen any secret. No, I have seen a snake drop here. Okay, so that could be Wandering Monster. I'll probably have to find out here, because it could also be like an explosive trap. Not an explosive trap. And we'll just unleash... Freezing trap. Okay, I'm cool with the, I'm cool with a little freeze. Little chilliness is fine by me. We get him down to seven, so it's looking pretty good right now. Okay, so that just won't be enough. Even if it's explosive trap, I just unleash again. I expect an explosive trap at this moment. But, you know what, I will just unleash again. And take the game. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.